Hello people, this is Iron Man Fan 147 showing you how to make a maze game in Blender. I'll try to be a lot more organized on this one. My last video, I missed part 3. Um, and I don't know what I did with it, so I think I'll just redo that sometime. But, anyways, I just want to show you guys how to do a maze game. Just for the fun. Okay, you're gonna hit A. Er, well... Yeah, you're gonna deselect every. You're gonna get rid of everything. So you're gonna hit A, and A again. So every make sure everything is highlighted. And then hit X, and then OK. Erase selected objects. You're gonna go to your top view, which you're probably in it already. But then you're gonna hit spade, space, add mesh plane. You're gonna put it into object mode, and hit S. And I do 30 because I like 30, because it's kind of on the edges of this little field thing. You know? See what I mean? It's like that. I just like it like that. And you're going to go to top view again. You're going to add mesh cube. You're going to um, look down on that, and you're going to hit tab, and then you're going to click the blue arrow that points up. That's the Z-axis. Hold that, and hold control, and drag it up just one one unit. I think they call them blender units, I'm not sure. Actually, let's click our plane again. That's going to be our um, field. Let's add a color to it. So I'm in the shaders tab, which is F5. So, okay. Now we're going to add a material. I'm going to make it something new. I'm going to make it a... Let's make it a blue just cause. Now we're gonna add a lamp because lamps make it nice. <laughs> okay, so you, there you go. Put it kind of on the side so it, I like to say, it gives it a dramatic effect. Now click your plane and go into edit mode and then hit W subdivide. Do that a couple of times. I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm doing it about six or seven times. Now you're going to hit face select, and you're going to deselect everything. And hit B for box, or border select or something, and drag it down so these, these boxes are highlighted. And do that for all four sides. So you should have something that kind of looks like that. And then you're going to hit E to extrude. Make sure it's on the z-axis and drag it up. Doesn't matter how high, as long as it's high, so the cube won't go past the field. Now, let's deselect that, and I guess hit five, so you can see the 3D view, so you can tell where your walls are. Now, the cube takes up about two squares on this, so I'll leave two squares open for here and just start highlighting wherever you want make it a um make it a good I don't know do whatever you want with this part just highlight any part and bring it up as long as your cube will fit through the spaces so I'm I'm just doing random stuff just for a uh, Hey, you know what? I think I'll just pause the video and show you what to do in a couple of seconds. Okay, I'm back. Um, this is what it should look like if you have something like my internet. This this little building thing right here. Um, that was just for fun. It's like a little tunnel that goes through there. It's kind of cool. Um, yeah, I'll put it into um, textured. And as you notice, when you look below the map everything is invisible okay that though what those are called is those are called normals so if I was to go inside this little building right here if I can get inside of it well anyways you can see through the map and you you should be able to see through the roof which is not good you can see it a little bit right there but I'm not sure how well this is picking up but you can see right through the wall so what I do is I put everything in put this put the map in edit mode 
highlight everything and hit E, extrude, but don't move anything. And what that really, that fixes it, so now you can't see through the walls, you can, or through the bottom of the map. Unless if you would like to see through walls, and there's an invisible wall there, but for this type of game, you probably wouldn't like that. Um, so yeah, that's how you do that little part right there. Now I'm going to click the player, I'm going to add a new um, material, pretty much a color to it, and I'll add a, is that a dark? blue because I that's my favorite color my favorite color is blue okay and then we're gonna go to top view and we're gonna go into the logic tab which is F4 hit actor dynamic do not hit rigid body because I do not like rigid body the only thing rigid body is really for is for things that are not players that are able to move and fall over and stuff I don't do that with players anymore that's what always confused me because when I tried to make a shooting game or something the guy would always, like, fall over when he hit a wall or something, and he would see under the map and all that stuff. It was really weird. Okay, now you're going to hit bounds, leave all that, and add a property, and string. F turn float to string. You're going to add, 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 add sensors, controllers, and actuators. Add four for each one. Now you're going to connect them all to the proper one. Change always to keyboard, you know, the arrow keys. If you've seen the, um, if you already know how to do this, I'm just adding, uh, you might know, not know how to do this, so I'll just go through a little bit. Pretty much what I'm doing is I'm adding movement to it. So for here, the first one, under the sensors, you want to change it to keyboard, either the arrow keys or the WASD keys, I don't care, but I'm putting a forward, so I will put the arrow keys. I prefer the arrow keys, so up arrow, and then down here in actuators, it should say motion under it, the the middle the middle column on the D location, the middle one should be 0 0.5 and then we're down to the next one, and the sensor should be keyboard and down arrow and what you did for the for the forward movement just if you did 0 0.5, you may have done higher, depending on or lower, depending on how small your or bigger your map is compared to your player. You want negative 0 0.05 because 5 is for 0 0.05 is forward, but negative 0 0.05 is backward. So yeah. So now you can go forward and backward. Now um, here's where I get messed up sometimes the left and right. I'll have to go through the whole row, but I'll do the left arrow now. And on the D rotation, you're going to want to go to the last one, I believe, and put it in 0 0.05. So now I'm going to test it just to see. If your character turns left with your left arrow, you're good. And now do the exact opposite. Instead of 0 0.05, you're going to do negative 0 0.05. And connect all those. Make sure all of these are connected with the little lines to the stuff. And change this to keyboard and right arrow. Now you should have be able to go forward, back, left, and right. Okay. Now you're going to go into front view. Um, add a camera. Put this way up here, um, so it's touching the top of the cube. Actually, no, get inside the cube. Because this way, if you're in textured mode, you can see right through it, but if you're not... Or no, let's not do that. Let's make it just right above the cube. So you can still see the cube, but you're not inside the cube. So let's put it, like, right there I guess and parent that to the cube by right clicking on your camera and right clicking on your cube holding shift and then control P and say OK parent so now when I push play I should be able to move around pretty good I'll just move the I'm gonna move the camera up a little bit actually because I don't 
move it forward a little bit. This way I can't see the cube, but it looks more like a first person. Okay. Sorry, sorry about that. My grandma was just calling me for something. Alright, so that's how you pretty much make the maze game. But if you hit Alt and Z, it goes into textured mode, which is down here. Um, you have textured, shaded, solid, wireframe, and bounding box. You go into that. Um, the sky turns blue and everything is a little bit better looking, I think. Um, you can mess with some of the like light settings and stuff like that. But um, that was part one of my tutorial on how to make a maze game. There's only going to be two parts, so I'll give you part two next. Thanks for watching.